One of the best ways is to ask. Um, talk to your teachers, your counselors, your advisors, your friends, your family. Ask uh, all these, anyone that you can um, about the schools that you're thinking about attending. Beyond that, you'll see that there are some of the student review sites out there. We all like to use reviews before we make major purchases of things. So you'll see that there are review sites out there where students have um, rated uh, with stars uh, and left comments about whether they uh, liked or didn't like their program. So those kind of things are out there as well. I'd also advise you to speak with your employer if you're working um, and ask them for advice about what kind of programs might make sense for you and the role that you're in. If your education is going to be related um, to your work at all. And then related to that, professional associations that are there to advocate for people working in your industry. See, check out their websites and you may be able to write in and ask questions and see if there are any schools that have affiliations with um, those associations. Lots of different numbers out there that schools are readily providing. Uh, things like completion rate or graduation rate. You want to know if uh, students are getting employed uh, after they graduate or if they continue on in some employment role that they intended to do so after uh, they took their courses and completed their programs. So getting some of those statistics uh, for the different schools you're interested in can help you to compare them as well. One of the most common red flags, I think, would be if an advertisement tells you that it's going to be easier um, than going to school uh, on campus. It's definitely going to be more convenient. You're going to have that flexibility of scheduling where you can log into your courses before work, after work, around your family commitments, um, but it won't necessarily be easier to complete your coursework. You're still going to have the same rigor, the same requirements to complete assignments, to work with other students, uh, to read, uh, and create all kinds of things that show that you're, you're learning along the way. First, you just want to make sure that your program, uh, the ones that you're considering, are accredited. And there are two basic types of accreditation. One is regional and one is national. They're different agencies, but they do basically the same work. So you want to make sure that at least your school has regional or national accreditation. Now, beyond that, it gets a little trickier. Um, if you're looking for transfer, credit opportunities, then you want to make sure that you've done some research into the school you're either moving into or out of uh, to make sure that it's going to match and that you will have the accreditation that is expected from the school that you want to move your credits into. A lot of times schools will say they want regional accreditation, but that's not necessarily the case anymore. We're moving more towards both uh, as being options, but you just want to avoid the surprise of not being able to transfer your credits uh, later on due to something that's accreditation related. If you're talking with an advisor um, over the phone or online, you can ask what type of accreditation the school has. If the program has its own specific accreditation, that's not necessarily the case for all majors and all subject areas, but in some that will be helpful, like nursing, for example. Um, ask when the last accreditation review took place and ask if there has ever been um, accreditation prohibition or um, probation. If you want to go a step further, you can go to the uh, Department of Education's website or the Council for Higher Education uh, Accrediting. 